the uh, Colonels. J.P. Piper, you, you got to be proud of your team after that second half effort. Yeah, I wish we only played 20 minutes and I'd take the second half. Uh, I, I don't know what happened to us in the first half. We didn't look like we wanted to compete, and I don't, I don't really have an answer. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure it out. We got to play again tomorrow and the next day. Uh, but that was the message in the post game. Uh, if I can get what you gave me in the second half, we can win some games. That was a heck of an effort. Showed a lot of toughness, guts, poise. Still made some mistakes, but uh, I'll take that effort any day of the week. Dantrell Thomas not very shy about uh, throwing the ball up tonight. He wanted to get back out there and make up for some lost time, and he did it. Yeah, he's just got to get a little more efficient. Uh, you look at his line, 6 of 17. We need him to be about 12 of 17. And, that makes a big difference in the game, obviously. Uh, and he'll get there. He'll get there. Um, it was a big physical team at the rim, and uh, we, we didn't like that in the first half. And we, we talked about that in the locker room, and I thought we handled that better in the second half and made some tougher plays at the rim. And then, you know, Theo got us going, making a few shots, and, and that also makes the game a little easier. Did anybody else even make a three? Yeah, I see Fred made one. So, uh, and Amin. So, you know, the, the, oh, Pedro, okay. Uh, I didn't look that closely at our three-point line, but um, we knew the way this team defended that we would have to make some perimeter shots, and that's what you saw in the second half, and that opens up some things at the basket. So we, we shot it terribly in the first half, and that accounted for some of our frustration. So, you know, we'll learn from it and try to be better next time out. Utah State had eight block shots in the first half, only one, though, after the break. Were, were you playing into their hands there in the first half? Well, yes and no, and we talked about that. We actually argued as a staff. We don't usually do that, but the conversation was we got to get it to the rim and kick it. I said, well, we're 2 of 13. Kick it to who? And nobody's making shots. If we're making shots, I understand, but um, I just soon take a chance that we might draw a foul. Let's keep playing it at the rim. Well, thankfully, uh, and reality is we want balance, and thankfully in the second half some shots started to fall, so then you're able to make those plays at the rim because when the, the other team is worried about the shooters, um, it, it leaves more one-on-one -on -one opportunities around the basket. And then I just thought DT and, and Dantrell um, had a different mindset. Part of the game plan was to attack off the bounce. We felt like their matchups, they could win athletically. And they didn't do a real good job of that in the first half. They were really, in my mind, kind of passive and, and soft. And in the second half, much more determined and physical when they got into the paint and it made a difference for us. It really forced a commitment by Utah State's defense, which opened up the perimeter. And if they didn't bring help, we were able to get some buckets one-on-one. -on -one. So, um, you know, a, a lot to build on. And again, the second half uh, mentality that we played the game with is what we've got to start with for 40 minutes.